Okay, it's uh, October 26th at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's Sunday, and uh, tomorrow morning we're going to be taking off for Santa Fe for two weeks. And uh, we're told that when we come back, this house is liable to be, we're not promised it, but it's liable to be completely bricked and sheetrocked on the inside. So, here we are. thought I'd take a uh, round or two around the house and uh, get one last look, just in case it is finished bricking before we come back. Okay. I see some loose paper right up there. It's kind of wafting in the slight breeze that we have. There is a uh, electrical outlet for a light that's going to be on the side of the garage. On the other side of the garage is another electrical outlet of the same ilk. Okay, there's the front door. You see that uh, sort of a gate, if you will, across the door. The guy who is working on the stained concrete put that there to keep animals out. And we'll pan on around. And there's the south side of the house right there. And you can see that there's paper loose up at the top. And I'm sure they'll take care of that before they start breaking. Okay, going to move on around now. Here we are looking into the front door of the house from the east. There's the craft room, the window into the great room, the front door, and the garage door. And you'll see right down here where the security guy has installed a piece of pipe that will bring the um, wires from the front gate into the house. Okay, there's the window from the garage, and then of course here's our Oxford red brick laying all over the place. There are 23,000 bricks laying here. So this is the and north side places. of the garage here, and you can see where the um, pipe, there the electric wires are going to go is coming out of the side of the house. There's telephone wires stringing down there. There's some electrical wires right there. Not sure exactly what all of that's for. Uh, a little farther on in the corner, you can see the, um, I think that's a water pipe sticking up out of the ground there, right there. See that? I believe that's a water pipe. There's a gas pipe sticking out of the wall right there. I believe that's where gas service comes in. And over here, there's another gas pipe sticking out of the wall. I believe that's the gas supply for the generator. And then, of course, that deal right there is the hot water heater. And if we move over just a little bit to the right, as I've waded through the weeds and such, right here, that stuff right there is associated with the um, AC unit, that electrical wire and that tubing coming out of the base of the house. A little further around the corner on the north side of the shower, those wires right there and that apparatus is associated with the satellite dish for TV and the satellite dish for internet. Those two dishes are going to be installed right out here. See where those two stakes are? One dish is going to be internet for TV and the other, I'm sorry, satellite for TV and then satellite for internet. That's what those two are. Let's dig a trench across here to connect those two wires, or those wires that are piled up there. And of course that's the bathtub room sticking out there with all the windows and the sky. Okay, again it's the north side of the garage, a little different view. And you have a better shot of the air conditioning unit pipe coming out of the wall and the electricity. And then there's the wires for the satellite dishes. The bathtub room. And we're looking right into the sun, so this isn't such a hot picture. And the back porch. This is the north side of the master bedroom. The bathtub room there to the left. Um, now we can get a look at the outdoor kitchen. The pipe coming up there is the, drink, the sink drain and the hot and cold water pipe uh, coming up there. That um, sawhorse is holding the door shut to keep animals off of the uh, concreted or the uh, stained concrete floor. Okay, here we are looking at the back porch from the west. <clears throat> there are going to be uh, brick um, supports for this back porch. Right now there's about seven sets of two-by-fours holding up the back porch eave, or the, the back porch. And so there's going to be steel posts uh, reinforced with brick. And those will probably be put in by the time we get back too, so we won't get to see that go up. This right here is the outdoor fireplace. It too will be brick we're told. Now we're looking at the, uh, again, the west side of the house from the west. And I guess okay, I should move over to the west side of the house from the west. 
and it's about four o'clock in the afternoon and we're already standing in the shade here. It won't be long before the back porch will be in shade and just to give you an idea of what we're looking at when we stand on the back porch and look out, there it is. That is a 360 degree view from this point. I think I'll go do a three or a whatever view from the uh, from the back okay. porch. Itself. We're standing on the back porch looking to the north at the outdoor kitchen. And so as I pan to the left, this gives you an idea of what we'll be looking at as we look out of our back windows to the west. Just into the forest and right out there beyond the tree line and down in a gully is Ramsey Creek. Right out there.